If the location services on your iPhone 16, 16 Pro, Max or Plus is not working in the apps like Maps, Weather, GPS, etc., and you can't use the Share My Location feature or enable Disable Location Services because it's grayed out, then let me show you how to turn on Location and fix any Location Services issues on your iPhone that's running on iOS 18. First of all, before doing anything else, Try force restarting your iPhone and that should fix the location issues for a lot of you. You can do that by quickly pressing the volume up button, then the volume down button and hold down the side button until the screen turns off. Now let go and your iPhone will restart. Now check if your location services have started working. If it isn't, then make sure that you have the correct time zone set up. To check that, go to settings, then general scroll down and select date and time from here if you see the time date or the time zone is incorrect you can just enable set automatically or you can go into the time zone and set the correct time zone manually if the problem persists then we'll check if location is enabled for all the apps and the system to check that open settings once again then scroll down and go to privacy and security go to location services and in your case, if location services and share my location options are grayed out, so you're unable to turn them on. In that case, it's because of privacy restrictions. So you'll need to go back to settings and go to screen time. After that, content and privacy restriction and allow location services from here. And after that, just go back and open it again. Now you can turn on location services right from here. And those of you who are having issues sharing your location, you can also go to share my location and turn this feature on. But that's not all. You should also check that all the apps have access to location. Then go to system services and make sure all the options are turned on, especially compass calibration. Now the location service in all apps should start working normally. If it still doesn't, then resetting all settings of your iPhone may fix it. To do that, you'll need to go to the general settings then scroll down, select transfer reset iPhone, reset, and then reset all settings. But as you can see, this will reset all your settings that includes your Apple Pay cards, your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth data, and all the passwords. So if you don't want to proceed, then what you can do instead is install the Apple support app from the App Store. And from there, you can message or call Apple support, and hopefully they'll be able to resolve your issue. So let us know how it went and which step worked. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more.